Hi everyone, it's Leanne with Expressible. One of the most common concerns I hear from parents is how their child pronounces certain sounds or words. For example, I'm often told, my child can't say R, so they say radio instead of radio. Or maybe they can't say S when it's next to other sounds, so they say cool instead of school. These concerns are inevitably followed with the question, are they a late bloomer or do they have a speech disorder? It's difficult to say without knowing the specific situation and every child develops differently. But today I'm going over some common signs that your child might benefit from a speech and language evaluation. If you'd like more information on the topic, you can always read our blog in the link below. Okay, let's get into it. Speech and language development begins prior to birth and children are expected to begin babbling and playing with sounds at just a few months old. By about one year, give or take a few months, first words are expected. And while everyone progresses at their own speed, there are certain speech sounds that kids should be able to make at certain ages within typical development. The American Speech, Language, and Hearing Association provides some helpful guidance on which speech sounds English-speaking children should be able to make and at what age. By the age of five, most children can pronounce almost all types of speech sounds. Now think of your child. Are they able to pronounce these sounds? If not, that could be a sign that they may have a speech sound delay or disorder. It's also important to note that while speech sound disorders are more prevalent in children, they can also affect adults. Some adults may have problems that started as a child and were never properly treated, causing them to persist over time. Others may have been caused by a stroke or traumatic brain injury. There are also several other conditions that may cause or increase a person's likelihood of developing a speech sound disorder. These include brain damage, such as head injury, intellectual or developmental disabilities, such as autism, a genetic disorder, such as Down syndrome, problems with hearing or hearing loss, physical abnormalities that affect speech, such as cleft palate or cleft lip, and disorders affecting the nerves involved in speech, including apraxia and dysarthria. If you or your child has been diagnosed with one of these conditions, it's important to closely monitor for the signs of a speech sound disorder. As always, if you suspect signs of a speech sound disorder, you should contact your physician. Most likely, they'll start by checking your child's hearing. But if your healthcare provider rules out hearing loss, it's time to speak to a certified speech language pathologist like me. We work to prevent, assess, and treat speech, language, and social communication disorders in children and adults. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like more information, check out my other video titled, What is a Speech Sound Disorder? linked here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Expressible channel for other speech language therapy ideas and tips.